the beam is wider than the aqua dam. We're pulling the seam that constricted the connection collar down to fit a smaller aqua dam. So this basically opens up the connection collar, loosens its grip on the smaller dam, and makes it easier for us to remove the small aqua dam. Will you hold that collar away from the aqua dam? Will you pull it away a little bit? It won't go much that okay. No, it just shows this opening though. Look at how much slack there is now. Yeah, exactly like that. Thank you. We are switching the suction hose from one side of the aqua dam to the other. As the elevation of the water inside the aqua dam dropped, it stopped uh, equalizing because the turnaround is at the far end. So now we're going to put uh, this hose in on that side. Further, further. Okay. You're going to have to pump it on low so it don't suck the plastic. Turn it up until we start sucking. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. All the way. All the way. Turn it up. On the other side of the connection collar, we're pulling the seam, again to open up the full width of the collar and take any, uh, reduce any grip that it has on the three foot aqua dam inside. One worker is enough to get the aqua dam started up on the roll. Oh boy, we got a little snake habitat underneath. Dang. Hope I'm not stepping on any. Oh, behind me? Well, right here to the right. Oh yeah, there he is. He's a big one. And then there's a little baby that's behind you behind that rock. 
Yeah, they're moving. They Another say. One? Yeah, there's one. Yeah, they're everywhere. That's cool. So let's let Safe that haven for them. We rolled up too much and we screwed ourselves. Yeah, these are some fatties. Alright. You know, they're all looking pretty dusky. I wonder if they're all about to shed. Maybe not. That one is. He's got his eye caps going. How cool. Love it. The inside chamber on the that side of the aqua dam became inaccessible to the suction hose. So we've got enough slack in the material. We're going to cut the hole a little wider and pull the fill tubes of the three foot tall aqua dam out through the attachment collar opening. Once the fill tubes of the aqua dam are down below uh, the height of the main body of the aqua dam, the water will just drain right out of the aqua dam. And then we'll, uh, but we're restricted from doing that here on this site, so we will be pulling the fill tubes back over the connection collar onto the top of the aqua dam and inserting the suction hose and continuing pumping the water. Normally we could release this water right back into the river Due to temperature concerns, the environmentalists on site, or biologists, has said uh, we have to discharge the water into the temporary holding pond on that side, right behind the excavator. Don't worry, it won't kill you. As soon as the plastic gets below the height of the aqua dam, it wants to fill up with water and make a bulge. And if that's allowed to happen, it will uh, take control. So you got to control it early before it gets too heavy. Well, you're probably right. Never did go down in there, Seth. Yeah, the V right here. Okay, pull that up here on this one. There's a pitch right there. So now we're pulling the fill tubes up. See right where I'm tugging at? I'm going to go right through and right there. Oh, he's way off on the side he's over way here. Off. Go hey, to set. You want to go over here? Right in here. There it goes. Yeah. Should be easy now. There right it here. is. Okay, that's it. Yep. He's not, it's not down in there at all. The hose is still right here. He's in the wrong spot. He okay. needs to. You need to move it over towards me. Now push it in. Just push it on in. Don't pull it out, push it in. Now, is it going to go in or back over there in the corner? Oh, we're, we're right in here. Okay. As long as they move it on down. He's in the bag. Let's see how far that hose gets down. That's your car. There he is. Hey, sweetie pie. Someone needs to learn how to put on his clothes. He's big. That ain't no grubber snake. Yeah, he's the one that mess you up snake. And oh, these are water snakes. He's a jumper. Yeah, I was thinking he looks ready to shed. I saw him before he got that white eye cap going on. Yeah. Kind of dusky color. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, rolling up the aqua dam. We just had to take a long way to pump down, but pushing the water towards the pump and uh, keeping everything moving. Pulling the open end, the other fill tube up out of the collar. Getting it up on top. We'll be pumping out of this fill tube as well to get the rest of the water that's remaining out of the aqua dam. Okay. 
down and hold back. Hold back. back. As the last little bit of water is drained, we are pulling the suction hose back and the pump too, so that we uh, never run into, never get the suction hose rolled up with the rest of the aquadam yeah. roll. The remaining water is uh, unimportant to the greater body of water, so we pulled out the last 10 feet of the aqua dam and are rolling it up. Any remaining water gets pushed out the fill tubes into uh, the river. This water originally came from the river, now it's going back to the river. The rolled up aqua dam is floating, ropes are passed underneath it and tied around the circumference to um, control the roll. Now that the three footer has been rolled up, there is zero isolation. The six foot tall aqua dam is just sitting there in the middle of the channel. So now we've got a hose inserted into the top of it and we are draining it down. Pretty soon it will be buoyant and then we can pull it, roll it in that direction, downstream. You can see the space here where the four footer was. There's the river out there and there's green algae growing. Absolutely nothing underneath the aqua dam. And over in the work area, it looks kind of gray from the sediment uh, or something. I don't know from what, but it's kind of more gray. But totally nothing underneath the aqua dam. And nice green uh, everything all along where the aqua dam was. I have a feeling that the heat generated or absorbed by the aqua dam creates uh, a better growing space for, uh, for the aquatic plants. We're opening up the connection collar to expose the end seam of the aqua dam. We will open up the end seam of the aqua dam and pull out these two fill tubes and open them up and uh, that will reduce greatly the amount of water still inside the aqua dam. See how this already up? If you flip that, it's going to take a 500 pound hole. You have to go one side, you can go the other side. Okay, get over here next to him. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now that the aqua dam is uh, getting close to the surrounding water level, we're going to move the two pumps, move the one pump up to the top, and we've brought a second pump in and the suction hoses will go down into holes that we cut into the top of the aqua dam. The lowest spot is right there. That's where the water will collect uh, last. So that's where we want to put the, the suction hose for the pumps. Yes, sir. Now we're making another hole, another insertion point for the three inch suction hose. I'm right at the pleat, you know, how the oversized plastic. Yeah. Right at that side. 
So I stopped with a big fold here so I didn't cut through that unnecessarily. For sure. Let's keep the hole as small as possible. Not at all. Here comes the end of the suction hose. Might Down. Make it a little bigger. Maybe cut just the outer black. Oh, is it going? It's going. We like to make the hole a little small and then the the size of the hose stretches the plastic to the okay. size of that the can hose. Hook up pump. And you get a better seal that way. Here though I think uh, You're gonna have to drag <laughs> the pump back some. The hole may be a little bigger than the hose. Yeah. Number two hole being cut. Watch the end of that hose if it pops off that bridge. Yeah, I'll watch. Pop, yeah. Thank you. Oh, he's got a good hold on it. Thanks, John. Yeah. All right. Nice. Are we in? We're in. All right, we're in. Okay, that one's ready to hook up. Two suction hoses right to the top of the aqua dam. It'll follow the water level down as the aqua dam gets pumped down and ensuring we're always right there at the water level sucking the water, not the plastic. And uh, we're going to get this aqua dam down below water level today. Probably removed. Now it's just time to run another line of discharge hoses and then we'll be ready to pump. The two suction hoses, to the two pumps, to the two discharge hoses, to the discharge pool. Both pumps are working and drawing water from the aqua dam through two cuts made in the top of the aqua dam. Preparing the connection collar to get rolled up on that beam. They folded it, they pulled it out straight, then they folded the sides in, and now they're gonna get started uh, rolling up just that end. Can't go anywhere until this body of the aqua dam drops below water level. But might as well get started. The bolt and its protection uh, have loosened quite a bit. Now there's room underneath. So good job block of wood. Did the job. The aqua dam continues to pump down. It really has lost quite a bit of head uh, in a short period of time because we've got the two pumps going on it instead of just the one. So in probably in about 10 minutes We'll have lost enough head, we start rolling it up at the other end, and um, once it's floating, we cut the end seam here and pull the fill tubes out, and then just keep rolling, probably try to pull it out from under the bridge, and roll it up on the downstream side of the bridge. Opening up the fill tubes of the six-footer in preparation of cutting the end seam and pulling them out through the end seam. Alright, the aqua dam is basically flat. We're undoing the chain stitch near one end of the of the seam. We got two stitch rows. Boom. Two chains. Easy. We'll just pull that puppy out. Try not to step out there, man. Push it up. Say that again? I'm gonna try not to go all the way to the corner. I don't want to screw it up out there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Just enough to pull the filters out, really. Exactly. Okay, walk down there, grab the other side of the tube. Watch out, you're pulling thread on that side. Oh, it's just stuck. Yeah. Oh, uh, still doing the right to pull out.
but we don't want to do it because we want to pump it all out. We want to pump it all out. That's right. Grabbing onto the end of the Aquadam, trying to lift up this end to force the water down into that end of the Aquadam. So, we push it in like this. Pushing in from both corners. Basically, it's like rolling it up. You're denying all this plastic the ability to expand to its full uh, capacity. It forces the water into the remaining uncontrolled portions of the plastic. Now we're getting a rope to go encircle the end of the aqua dam. Then we can get the workers out of the waterway and up on the bridge. By doing this, we hope to reduce the turbidity generated by these activities. One pump side sucking plastic. Now that the other side is restricted down, we're working on this side and rolling the aquadam up as we can to get it to force the water down into the central section, which is the deepest section, so we can continue to pump the water. Okay. To help cinch up this aquadam to fit on the beam, we are going to pass a rope underneath of it and then over the top and we'll be moving it back as we unroll. And that will help compress the aquadam towards the center, make it narrower so it fits the beam that we have. Alright, so the cinch rope is being slackened, then they'll work the rope this way more, and continue rolling it up.
repositioning the suction hoses in order to get the maximum amount of water out of this aqua dam. This excavator will be used to pull the aqua dam, which is between here and here, that way, so that we can continue rolling it up. This aqua dam will be removed from the site and repaired prior to being put back into service. All right, the excavator is set. The ropes are tied to either side of the rolled up aqua dam. And excavator's gonna swing that way to pull the aqua dam out. Nice and slow. Alright, we've reached the limit of the rope, now we're using belts. Same overall concept, lift, and go back. We are unrolling the aqua dam a short distance.
as the aquadam material has drained, we roll up the drain section and then uh, let the remainder um, drain out. Oh, nice. Lifting the aquadam roll, draining the water. Some very small amount of water is coming off the aqua dam, out of the aqua dam, but well, most of it has been removed. Okay, put it down so if it breaks, put it down so if it breaks, all the rest of the The aqua dam is basically rolled up now. We're placing some uh, ropes underneath. So we finish rolling it up. The ropes will emerge on the other side and we can tie them around the circumference of the roll to enable this aqua dam to be handled more easily for loading and transport back to our yard. Thank you. No, he's going to back in here. The excavator is setting the aqua dam onto our trailer. We will take it back to our yard and refurbish it. The other two aqua dams will remain on site and uh, be redeployed at a later date when the contractor is ready. All done with the work. There's the four foot tall aqua dam. Under the bridge you see the three foot tall aqua dam. Those will remain in place for the next deployment on site. The two pumps and related hoses will be removed. On the far side, one connection collar is being uh, bundled up and taken uh, to be taken away. There's the other connection collar being loaded onto the trailer. So we are done. Until the next time.